Hello, friends, Romans, and also countrymen. And welcome to, uh, to Greed Corp. I believe this is our last battle upon this quest to complete the free men, um, part of the campaign. So, yeah, we're, we're getting on there. So, we still have, you know, three more campaigns after that. But that will, um, that will, we'll see what happens with that. But let's get right into it. Let's, let's, let's finish off the, f the first fourth of the, the campaign of Greed Corp. We'll see what happens. We are against uh, a decent number of people on a rather small map. So this could get problematic really quick. Um, yeah. I foresee this one being interesting, to say the least. <sighs> yeah. So, we already start with the Harvester. Now, that's interesting, actually. I think this is... I, I think this is the first map that... that uh, you start with a Harvester, I believe. I'm not sure. I Don't quote me on that, but I think it might be. Um, let's do that. And that's all going to get destroyed, so let's just keep going. I think the key to this one's probably going to be just grabbing all the land, or as much as we can at least. Because the expansion's going to be a bit difficult. And their economy is going to be really good, but they're also just going to sink themselves into a hole here. Oh, they already built a cannon? Wow. These guys are going really aggressive. <laughs> Just like so are these guys. Um, but I have a little saved, so we should actually be pretty well off. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to be doing pretty good here. Um, because we can already... Well, actually, before we do that, let's move guys up there. I just realized that was a suicide mission. Yes, I know, but... Oh, well. Anyway, um... Let's just build more harvesters, honestly. This doesn't stack, as far as I recall, but let's just harvest out as much as we can here um, and get some really good economy going because that should give us an upper hand um, and if we can grab this granted we're not the closest here they are the closest as uh, as far as I can tell to grabbing this this high ground here but um, yeah these guys are rapidly taking themselves out um, these guys I can see is a threat and I'm not sure about these guys. These these guys are going harvester crazy though, um, which is actually kind of bad for them a little bit. Their economy is ridiculous, but um, oh, we are in a really dangerous spot right now. Um, yeah, let's. I could actually conceivably lose right now. Well, I'm kind of saving myself there, but, um, yeah, no, this is, this is dangerous, dangerous territory. Now this, that'll be a good, good little trap there. So we're actually doing all right as far as economy. Um, they are doing really, really, really well, though, uh, which is not something I'm super excited about. And the rush for this high ground is gonna be an interesting uh, uh, set of affairs. I foresee me not getting there first, seeing as they go one hex away. Yeah, these guys are are kind of the underdog right now as far as land. Um, though they're not doing too bad for themselves, but they also are going pretty harvester crazy. And these guys just killed themselves. So, yeah, okay. I thought they were gonna be a threat, but I guess not. They had just too much economy. 
Now, that's gonna just be silliness. Now, uh, we're gonna make as many of these guys as we possibly can, because we need to expand and quick. And we're gonna build another one of these fellas here. So, we're gonna be in a little bit of a predicament for economy. Ah, oh, I gotta get that guy out of there. Um, for just a little bit. But, I get the feeling we should be okay, because they're not running for the high ground immediately, and these guys are going to pretty much... Yeah, they took themselves out. So it's down... <laughs> everyone who has a really good economy is just down to the two. Now, these guys are actually done something really smart and isolated themselves out on a little island and I think I might try to do the same because island warfare seems like the, kind of the best way to go on this map um, just for safety purposes um, uh, so I think yeah let's just fire on their stuff because their economy is not going to be the best thing so we officially have the high ground that's actually that's good we are, we are in a pretty good place right now. I know they're going to try to take the high ground, though. Um, so, let's not let them do that. Uh, yeah. Let's... Yeah, let's max out that. And let's get rid of... Um, Let's do, let's do something about that. That should uh, help us out a little bit. So they can't drop on there. Now they can drop on here, which is going to be a little bit problem problematic, but at least they can't immediately do that. So I should start capping this back area, because um, that'll be some good safety, safety stuff to kind of fall back on if need be. Um, but I do have two cannons, so that should be good. No, they are firing on me. Now, I think what I might do is make a bunch of walkers and draw their attention to a farther out hex. Um, because that might be the smart thing to do. Um, you cap here, you cap here. Oh, you can't. You cap here. Um, these guys are going to get taken out real quick. But I can sacrifice one walker to kind of screw them over. This is going to lower my high ground, but it'll it'll screw them over a little bit. Let's do that. Um, and just make more walkers, I guess. That's the plan. Alright. Let's see what their move is. They capped it. Awesome. Oh! Oh, that is bad. That is bad news bears all around. Um, yeah, they capped the high ground, and the high ground has become something that's going to get lowered rather quickly. So uh, that's going to happen there, as well as that, as well as that. But I'm also going to divert their attention by splitting forces. And I can actually cap this, so I'm going to cap it with one, because they were kind of dumb to do that. Now, they're going to try to drop on me, which they are able to do now. Um, luckily, they cannot do that um, quite yet, and if I damage them enough, they should, they're going to try to drop on one of these places, so let's... They're going to drop on this one. I know they're going to drop on this one because it has got more walkers. Um, let's put this here, and let's do two more walkers there. So we have an even number of walkers on each of these, and cannons on all of them. So we should be alright here. They're waiting. That is an interesting move by them. Okay, I can have no more um, harvesters. So, I believe the best course of action is to build another bullet. 
uh, oh, fire upon their large amount of walkers there, so their drop will be less effective. Honestly, two bullets. Two bullets is good, and then let's just max out with uh, as many walkers as we can. Now they're probably going to try to drop. Um, oh, they're making another one. So, oh, if they drop on here, that's kind of dangerous. But hopefully, we should be able to do a decent number, number amount of damage upon them with these cannons. Oh yeah, no, we win. We win right there. That's it. They're done for. And that is MLGG. There we go. That was surprisingly easy and surprisingly short. Um, so there we go, guys. That that was it. That is the last uh, last map of um, of the first fourth of the campaign for the uh, I believe the Freeman is what they are. Yeah, the Freeman. So we have finished the all six of the Freeman campaign maps. Um, so there we there we go. That's exciting. Um, so yeah, this is I I that was surprisingly short actually. I, they were kind of stupid computers in that one. But anyway, um, I appreciate that you guys have watched this far in. If you have, and if you haven't, hi. You can't hear me. Um. Anyway, uh, I'm really glad that you guys have, have kept watching this series, because I quite enjoy making it, because I'm kind of terrible at these kind of games, and I enjoy being able to play them more and get better at them. Um, so, make sure to check out uh, our website, namelesspixel.net, as well as subscribe and rate and comment and all those things, because it really helps us out. And until next time, happy Greed Corbin.